Daily Devotion Read, Mark 12 29-30 How is our love life? By Elder Christopher Beltran For those married for many years, we know the importance of nurturing our relationship with each other. However, instead of nurturing, we often take each other for granted, thus gradually deteriorating the sweetness, warmness, and intimacy. A wife of many years asked her husband, Do you still love me? The husband answered, Remember the day we got married? When we exchanged vows? I said I love you. I will let you know if I change my mind. Sad to say, this man doesn't understand what nurturing does to having intimacy in a relationship. Love goes beyond emotions. It is a commitment. Jesus used love as a measure of our devotion to Him. He knew the importance of our love life with God, as many temptations would often take our attention away from Him. We need to nurture our love life with God. But how? We find the answer in Mark 12 29-30. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your souls and with all your mind and with all your strength. Love God with all your heart. The heart is the center of a person's inner life. It contains powerful emotions, affections, and desires. These are like the steering wheel of a car that steers and directs us. We need to determine where they are, what occupies our time, motivates our actions and aspirations. Our affections are the outcome of what we treasure. If what we treasure are the things of the world, then our affections will be for those as well. Our heart's affections are what we genuinely value, and it determines our behavior, thoughts, and actions. But when we truly encounter the Lord and experience His presence, then our emotions and affections will focus on loving Him with all our hearts. Nothing else will matter except to obey the Lord. Love God with all your soul. While loving the Lord with all of our heart has to do with emotions and affection, loving the Lord with all our soul has to do with our devotion. Who or what are we devoted to? We love the Lord with all our souls by living a life of faithfulness to all He has required of us. It's how we make our decisions and choices that ultimately decide our behavior and lifestyle. Our choices show what we value and prove our commitment. It defines us. How do I spend my money? What kinds of things do I read? What programs do I watch? What do I do for entertainment? Where do I go for relaxation? What things give me comfort? How do I spend my leisure time? What kind of friends do I have? Our answers to these questions determine what the object of our devotion is slash are. If we pursue obedience to God's Word in our choices, it shows how we are determined to be Christ-like and declare that we love God with all of our hearts and souls. Tomorrow, we will continue with our Loving God series. Reflection If we were to evaluate ourselves from 1 to 10 with 10 being the highest, how are we in loving God with all of our hearts and souls? Where do our affections, emotions, and desires focus? Do the choices we make reflect on who or what we are devoted to? In what way can we grow deeper in our intimacy with the Lord in the area of loving Him with all of our hearts and souls? Prayer Lord, we know that we should seek You and Your Kingdom first. However, the things of the world have captured both my heart and my soul. The affection and choices I often make for You are secondary. Forgive me, Lord. I repent of all my unfaithfulness to You. May Your Holy Spirit once again empower me to focus on Christ alone.